boost the production of oil and gas because we are no longer getting investment. Because some of the investor institutions are declining investment in our industry, in the oil and gas industry. IFC has stopped funding oil and gas uh, projects. The European Bank for Investment has stopped funding oil and gas projects. Over the last 10 years or so, Ghana has received about 4 billion United States dollars from oil. And so what does that mean to us if we stop producing oil and gas? People have invested in downstream infrastructure. All the petrol stations we see around, they are investment. If we gradually do not move towards electric vehicles, and rather we use a radical approach to adopting EVs, what becomes of these assets? They certainly become stranded assets. And we believe that climate financing and how we position Ghana's economy in transitioning in this uh, energy transition is very critical to our economy. It's all about striking the balance of where we want to go to as a country. What are the available options that we can explore in this quest to transition from fossil fuel to cleaner energy? And I must also retreat that it is a, we don't have to sacrifice the very investment we have made now and enjoying us a development country in the quest for us to transition very fast. It's better for us to have homegrown solutions in respect to our climate change and in all aspects, that's business, economic and even financing.